So here we are at Lake Fork again. Gonna go out here and look for those bluegill. Uh, channel cat. Got all kinds of stuff to do today. Got a few hours. Uh, just come out here in the evening time, see what's up. Uh, the wind's kind of picked up this today, uh, so uh, this evening is supposed to lay down. We're gonna get out of the way anyway. Gonna be against the bank. It's gonna be a good day, I'm pretty sure. Uh, still looking for bluegill. Uh, maybe some crappie and channel cat. Never know. We just gonna try to catch them. Basically, guys, I got this. Uh, it's an old horse feed bucket. And I've drilled a whole bunch of holes in it. I got dog food in it. I'm just gonna attach it to this jug. The rope is 25 foot, so I'm gonna set it in about 22, 23 feet. And, uh, you know, it should chum the water for the catfish. We'll just sink it. We'll go brim fish a little while. Come back over here, check it every now and then. See how many channel cats we can pick up off of it. It's surrounded by trees. We're in Lake Fork. Any, anywhere off the boat channel, you're surrounded by trees. Okay. So, had to add some, had to add a little weight to it. That's okay though. Got it where we want it. There's actually marking fish on the bottom. Probably the catfish. I may as well bring a bunch of them over here. I'm just gonna kind of pick it up. Make sure it sets the right way. We got it marked. Now I can take it home. When I get done fishing for the day, it all comes back. Rinse it out, refill it, do it again. Let's go catch some bluegill. Pretty simple setup. I have that cork, split shot, hook and worm. Just a little real flimsy rod. Uh, this is a six foot medium, uh, actually six foot medium light, buku rod, little 3000 Summit, uh, Fluger Summit. Uh, spinning gear. I mean, this makes it fun catching these big bluegill. Start. Good start. Good, good start. Nice blue eel. There he goes. I mean, that thing hit the water and was gone in two seconds, and here's another one. He might be a little bitty one. That's okay. I need, if I catch a few small ones for bait real small I'm gonna smaller than that even I'm gonna drop them down for those channel casts out deeper water perfect little bluegill though That's awesome. They even get a little bigger. These are just good size ones. Good one. You just pitch around the banks till you find them. That cork will go under. I've seen a couple splashing for uh, like hitting, eating little bugs on the surface. That's another good one. They're right off the bank. About three or four feet off the bank. And they're just taking that cork all the way under. Yes, sir. That's a good one, too. The color is just awesome on these fish. The color, the fight, the. Just 
great looking little fish. We got him. Like a drop shot. Wait on the bottom. Worm on a little loop onto the side. Just kind of slowly drag that on along the bottom. the hook. Little one. stumps in the water. This dude is not coming up. Oh, big one of the day. Oh my gosh. Big fish. Big fish. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That is a good one. <laughs> and they pee when you squeeze them. <laughs> That's a good one there. Drop me, he swallowed that hook. That's a great fish right there. Wow. You can absolutely eat these. I'm not today, but that is a good one that you would normally want to eat. It's a good fish. That old chum bucket sat out here for about an hour. We're gonna come over here and uh, drop some stink bait down by it and see if there's any channel cats down there. Caught a lot of bluegill, good bluegill. We can go right across the here to the other bank, catch a bluegill. We can at least try it. So we're gonna try this channel cat thing for a minute. Lake Fork is underrated for channel cats. They have a ton of channel catfish. It's all about bass fishing here, but you can have a good time catching bluegill, uh, bluegill, crappie, uh, channel catfish. It's a, it's just an all-around good fishery. Wind's dying down, so we're gonna put that eye pilot down and uh, drop some bait. All right, guys, all I'm doing is this little stink bait. Let's see the chum noodle. Use the pliers as much as you can. This stuff is terrible. I just sink that trouble hook down in there and try to just work it on with the pliers. A nice little tight little ball. Probably won't even take that much. And they're down there. I'm telling you, they're down there. Let's see if we can't get one Let's bite. Doesn't take long. Let's see if we can't get one on there. They might be little. Down. That chum bucket is working. Yep, oh, that's a decent one there. Yeah. That's, man, that's a... Oh man, this is awesome. That's crazy. So you can see the bait ab above them here, and then each little those little humps trying to come off, off the off the bottom, that's all actual the catfish. Get it real close in here, you can barely see the little separation between the, the catfish and the bottom. And that is fish on. We're gonna keep catching these for a minute. This is awesome.
the bottom. Bottom. so hard <laughs> oh my gosh it's decent come on now i don't have this is light tackle because i knew they're not very big but he's fighting good come on now there we go a little better boat with him <laughs> that's awesome that is awesome chum buckets working golly That's good fishing. Taking them long to pick it up, man. It's every drop. They're, they fight hard. I got like 10 pound test. It's a little medium hexen rod. That's a good one. That's the biggest one so far. That's what you want right there. Stay on. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm just jacking them. Oh, what you doing? I'm just jacking them in the mouth now. <laughs> yep. He hit it hard. I'm going to end on a good note. <laughs> yes, sir. Hope you enjoyed the video. We uh, got on the bluegill up shallow. Got the channel cat out deep. Uh, man, it's, a, it's forks fishing great up shallow for the bluegill, deep for the channel cats, and uh, we're catching them 25 foot of water right now. Stink bait over that chum bucket. That's hard to beat. I mean, it's every drop. Uh, Y'all get out here, come catch them. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll put out some more for you. Thanks for watching.